Talking Planning presents Us Week 2. Welcome to day four of Bus Week 2. Today we're going to be doing a flashback review from my time in Bundaberg, looking at a Stuart and Sons Bonluck City star. Let's start straight away with the elephant in the room. This bus is a Chinese import. Many transport enthusiasts and fleet managers are not keen on imported buses. It's difficult to deny, however, that many of these imported products offer a lower purchase price over locally built products, forming part of an attractive package. Fleet management in regional transport is tough, as you don't get the cost savings of bulk bus orders, and further, poor ridership tends to deliver low company revenue. In these circumstances, a cheap bus is likely a good bus, so let's assess whether the City Star is good or bad, and where it's great and where it falls short. One area you can't complain about is power. The 8.9 litre Cummins ISL offers up a healthy 320 horsepower and a very generous 1490 Nm meters of torque, all through a six-speed Allison automatic gearbox. As a passenger, it meant for smooth acceleration and keeping up with traffic was a breeze, so let's have a bit of a listen. Some more good news, the air conditioning was great, keeping the bus cool as the day heated up, but unfortunately from here in it starts to go a little south. Much like the only other Bonluck product I've ever reviewed, the City Star Arctic, the fit and finish as well as the design and quality of other components is a little behind the local competition. The appeal of this bus however, is the combination of reliable mechanicals and a low price which means that little details like stop bells and trim panels look a bit less attractive and feel less durable. On this bus, it's actually a bit more noticeable because of the seats that have been chosen. Instead of going for metro style bench seats with a thick seat base, this bus has plastic buckets with a thin cloth insert. As well as looking a bit cheap and nasty, they're not particularly comfortable and the leg room is inconsistent. It should be said though, this is solved by many operators by just choosing Metro bench seats instead. If you want to improve your journey, shift your focus to looking out the window instead of looking at the interior. The views out the window on bus route 6B heading towards Elliott Heads are beautiful. Stewart and Sons operate a single route service bus, this Bonluck, on two services, each operating twice daily. The 6A and 6B services operate to Moore Park and Elliott Heads respectively, both of which are a fair distance out of Bundaberg itself. Despite a few comfort and trim quality issues with some Bonlock buses, I'd still recommend going on one for a few reasons. First of all, on this service, the views out the window are well worth seeing, transitioning from Bundaberg's charming inner city to the Burbs, through to the sugarcane fields, and finally, the waterfront. Secondly, this full-size Bonlock is still a huge step up from the previous bus, Mercedes 815D pie cart, and finally, given the fact that very few companies bought imported buses for route service, it's always worth going on one to see what you think. This mightn't be the best bus in class, but overall, if you think of the alternative, say, not having a bus service at all, due to the high cost and low returns on regional transport, the Bonlark City Star starts to look a little bit better. But as always, thank you for joining me on Talking Planning and I will see you again tomorrow with the final day of Bus Week.